Hey y'all, uh, Kenta here. Now, imagine this. You just attend a killer webinar and you get a lot of value out of it. And then the next thing you know, you're getting an email follow-up from the presenter, from that company, from whoever, with the section of the video of that live webinar that you found the most uh, valuable to you, right? And it says, hey, Kenta, me. They say, hey, Kenta, uh, I know you asked this question during our webinar about X, Y, Z. And if you wanted to hop on a quick call, I'm more than happy to walk you through our tool. Or maybe you say, I know I'm more than happy to help you answer that question a little bit more in depth and we can schedule a call. So how would that make you feel? For me, I would feel really great. I would feel really heard. I would feel like, okay, okay, this company listens, this person listens. And I would wanna maybe hop on a call because especially if that problem is deep enough for me and this company is saying they have a tool or they have the knowledge to be able to solve that for me and that's why I attended the webinar in the first place, then that's something worth uh, my time. So that's what we're talking about today. We're gonna be talking about how you can better follow up with your webinar attendees, with your live training attendees, so that you can make them feel special, so that you can uh, help put them in the right part of the funnel, so that you're building that trust, you're building that relationship, and of course, down the line, being able to convert them into a loyal customer. Okay, so today's conversation and tutorial is gonna be pretty easy, right? So the idea is essentially that you're gonna want to be able to follow up them with them through uh, some sort of video. I think that's always uh, more effective. I've done kind of other videos here on this channel about why video is so much more powerful than just writing somebody an email follow-up, right? So now if you need some more social proof or, you know, take my word for it, there's companies like Bonjoro out there that know how important being able to follow up with your customers through video is, right? You get that personal touch. So of course, check out Bonjoro. They're a great tool and a great company. But today, I'm going to show you how you can do it utilizing uh, another tool, right? Because Bonjour doesn't necessarily let you take a webinar and transcribe it and cut it down into just that one section and send it off. So I'm going to show you with you how you're going to be able to do that by yourself. First of all, you're going to want some sort of webinar, some sort of live training. I have one right here. It's Ross, who is the co-founder of the tool that I'm going to be talking about today. I took this from their YouTube channel. It's called Milk Video. So Milk Video is great for turning webinars into video highlights, turning any sort of long form content and chunking it up into bite-sized usable pieces of content. Really great for repurposing. So I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna log in. I'll show you the dashboard. And here it is. So you're just gonna take the file that you have, that webinar, and you're gonna drop it in here into this section. Now, I already have done that. I have a lot of content already, so I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna come over here and show you. So I'm gonna click into the video, and boom. I don't know if I mentioned this already. You might already know this tool, but what they do is they transcribe all of your content for you. So you actually also get to edit and chunk out your pieces of content using the text. Now this is really helpful because instead of having to watch the entire, I don't know, one hour webinar, you just have to scroll quickly and find the parts that you want to grab. So usually there's a live Q and A in the end of the webinar. So I would just be able to scroll to the end of the video and maybe grab that one part with the one question that one person uh, asked you. And we'll just pretend that this is a section. We're gonna grab that, just highlight. So again, we gotta use a little bit of our imagination, but imagine this section is, I asked a question to Ross and now they're going to be clipping that so that they can send it to me with along there along with their follow-up. So all we gotta do is click clip section or simply click C and you'll notice on the left side here, you get that clip. Now you come over here, create as video. There's two ways you can do it. Now, if you wanna just go as quickly as possible, this is a really great feature they have. I'm really bullish about it. You just come here, you just click whatever the format is, you just click the colors and that's it. You just click download and you get that video. So if you're, hey, this looks good, I just want this, I want efficiency, 
no time wasted. This is the way to go. Now, if you are a little bit more like me, I come from a kind of a design and visual background. So I want to tweak it, get into it. I want to see what else I can play with. So at that point, then you come over here and you get access to their uh, canvas. So here now you can start to style things. You can drag it down. I want to have it centered, drag the video down. You can also add a text. So I'm going to do that. Click over here, add text, and I'm going to write something like your questions, or maybe it's dear Kenta highlight or something. I, I don't know. I, I trust that you'll be more creative than I will in this process, but go ahead and do that. And uh, I say Kenta highlight because again, we're pretending, I know it's a bit confusing, but we're pretending I am the customer who uh, showed up and asked questions to Ross. So now once you like the look and the feel of it, you can still come over here and change the colors, right? Once you have the look and the feel of it. Now from here, again, similar uh, to before, all you have to do is click save and share and start export. That's it. Once your video is uh, done processing and ready to download, you'll get an email and you'll also be able to always access your videos on the left side here in the download section. You can see previous videos I have made. And then you just come over here, click that video, click download, and then pretty self-explanatory, save video and save it to whatever folder you have. And then that's it. And then from there, all you have to do is grab that clip and then however you're gonna follow up with them through email, you can basically grab that video and put it in your email. Now, really quickly, a little side note here that I have recently found out. If you want to, turn your video into a GIF, okay? You can just Google it. Uh, you can see I've used Easy GIF before. So all you have to do actually is just grab a piece of content. You're gonna grab a piece of video that you downloaded right from this tool, that video. Uh, mine is gonna be right here, this one right here. And then you're just gonna drag it into, oops, <laughs> that's not how you do it. You're just gonna choose a file and then just grab that piece and then upload video. And then from there, just convert to a GIF. And the great thing about this and here, and then you just gotta save it, right? I'm not gonna go through all that. I think y'all are all technical enough. But the great thing about this is instead of it being like a static image as an email, you can send it in your email as a GIF. So again, it's a little bit more visual, it's a little bit more interactive, and it will imagine seeing this in your email versus just like a video of your own face asking a question, right? So. There you go, that's it. Hopefully this video is helpful. Just to recap again, what did we talk about today? We basically uh, talked about how to follow up more effectively with your webinar attendees by taking a clip of a section that they found most valuable, right? Maybe an easy way to do it is if they ask a question, they're engaged, you can grab that section and you can give it to them as a gift and a follow-up and have some sort of actionable step, continue to be in conversation, right? Get them deeper into your funnel. And then we talked about using Milk Video as a tool to use, grab that webinar and cut it up into different chunks. And then I just showed you very quickly at the end how you you can actually turn your videos into a GIF. It'll make your that video look a little bit more engaging when it is put onto your uh, email follow-up. So that's it. Good luck and let me know. Let us know if these videos are helpful. Cheers.